Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock will be squaring off against Republican challenger Herschel Walker in Savannah, Georgia tonight. The one-hour event is the first and only scheduled debate between the two candidates before the midterm election. So a lot of people watching this, Georgia has emerged as one of the most pivotal contests for control of the Senate. Uh, joining us now for more on this is CBS News political director Finn Gomez. Finn, always so good to see you. Good to see you guys. Good morning. All right. So there's been a lot that's been going on in, in this race. To what extent is the abortion report scandal expected to play a role in tonight's debate? Yeah, Nancy, this is a uh, big debate in a big race that has received a ton of national attention. And this controversy, the contra controversy you're alluding to, rose after the Daily Beast first reported that an ex-girlfriend uh, al allegedly said that Herschel Walker, the, the Republican Senate nominee uh, in this race, paid for uh, an abortion in 2009. Walker, of course, has uh, been adamantly uh, anti-abortion rights. Uh, it's been a major part of his platform. I suspect that this will be a huge issue issue tonight. I think you're going to see that play out. I think it might be one of the first or two questions that come up to these uh, to him, uh, the Republican uh, nominee here. Uh, but it's also a, an issue that has dominated, dominated this crucial election, this crucial Senate race that could determine the, the control of the Senate um, come, uh, come election day. And so, Finn, moving beyond abortion, what are some of the right. other issues that are likely to take center stage tonight? I mean, honestly, I think abortion will uh, uh, push the issue of abortion and abortion rights to the front of this debate as well. This is also not only a, a big issue in the Peach State, but across the country and across the political midterm landscape. So I think that will be uh, something in their positions on both sides. Uh, Warnock, of course, is uh, someone who has a uh, uh, pro-abortion rights platform. Uh, and so I think a lot, will be, a lot of attention will go to this issue, but also crime. Uh, the economy, big issues that not only there but across the country will also play out here as well. And Finn, I want to ask you a little bit about Pennsylvania turning our attention there because Senate candidates John Fetterman yeah. and Dr. Mehmet Oz, they are scheduled to be uh, less than two weeks from today. Of course, in recent days, Fetterman's right. health has grabbed the national spotlight. So how can we expect both he and Oz to address it come October 25th? Yeah, that's a great question, Nancy, because, you know, October 25th is like the other major debate, if you will. These two debates, you know, Georgia and Pennsylvania are going to be huge. Of course, uh, in this case, controversy like uh, arose after the um, the closed captioning technology mm -hmm. that, uh, that Fetterman used uh, during a recent interview um, to compensate for some of the struggles he's had in processing uh, speech, which is a lingering side effect that, uh, due to the stroke that he had back in May. Uh, but there's been also a, a, a strong defense uh, mm -hmm. by those in the, in the disability community, uh, disability rights mm -hmm. community, who say that th th this doesn't, you know, negate his ability to be, or his fitness for office. Um, but I think that both yes will have to address. I think it's part of the reason that, that a lot of people will come and, and, and watch this debate is to see how they position themselves on this on this issue. Oz has someone who is use this uh, to criticize uh, Fetterman for not releasing and not being more transparent in releasing his medical records overall, something that Oz has done. But also his campaign has very, been very aggressive in, uh, in, in countering and hitting the campaign for this issue. So it's, it'll be something that will come up and, for and, sure. And Finn, to your point, though, have the questions that have emerged over Fetterman's health placed greater significance on his performance in this debate? Or do he and Oz's positions on the issues simply matter more to voters? Uh, honestly, Tanya, you know, if you look, go back to our CBS News battleground tracker for the Keystone State, it, the, the issue over uh, over Fetterman's health wasn't an issue. Um, I think it's gotten a lot more attention and a lot more focus, perhaps. But there are big, big issues to still determine the outcome of all these races. And, and you know, the most most important issues to voters, if you look at our polls, if you look at all, like m most polls, show that it's the inflation, it's the economy, it's crime, it's other big issues mm -hmm. that we're seeing play out in all these crucial states. But of course, like Georgia, like other states, like Wisconsin, uh, you know, and, and Arizona, Nevada, you know, Pennsylvania will determine, like, who controls the Senate. So, I mean, there's a lot of attention, a lot of money being placed into these states by both sides. And, and of course, uh, these debates are uh, the best platform for voters to see and help decide who they will vote for with 25 days out uh, until, until the, this big midterm election. Well, given all 
that obviously a lot of people will be watching these debates, especially considering it will be the I will. first and only. Yeah. I, I know you will. Them. You'll be watching well, very I'll be watching both. Uh, But yeah. how important are they in the overall scheme of things? Could they really have an impact on what happens come November 8th, especially considering they are happening so close to Election Day itself? Yeah, I mean, Georgia, for example, it's just a few days before early voting starts in the Peach State. So um, so they, they do, I, I think they do matter. A lot of people, a lot of voters in these in these battleground states have already made up their minds, regardless of some of these uh, swirling controversies. They've already decided they're going to vote along party lines. You know, they, they realize and recognize the significance of their vote. It's not just for their state, but it's, you know, again, for the, the balance of the Senate. Uh, but I think, though, when you're looking at these razor-thin differences in these in these key matchups, you know, there's there's independents and soft partisans. Those are people who call themselves independents, but lean one way or the other. You know, if it's if it comes down to like their performance and how they want their leaders to be and act, yes, I think it will play a role. I mean, how significant? Uh, we'll see. Yeah. But no. yeah. And we will all be watching tonight. It will be uh, you know a fascinating debate for sure. Finn Gomez in Washington. Thank yeah. you so much. Thanks, guys.